is the theatrical trailer for the Charge of the Light Brigade of Errol Flynn's. I had to work on my other movie projector, and when I first movie I put in, this is what I see, so I thought you'd all dig that. But let's take a little walk. I got some other things to show as well. Um, wasn't going to do the video, but that was too cool, so... So I was shining up the keys on the Remington, and what I use is uh, Armor All. Let's put you up here. And that's that's all been done now, but um, I'll just show you kind of how I did it, and then we'll go over to a, a parts typewriter, and you'll see uh, how a dirty key can turn out. So I just squirt some Armor All on a, one of these swabs that I get from work, and let's say the number six. So I'm cleaning her down with the armor all, and then I take another one that isn't the wiping one, I take another one for wiping everything off, clean one, and that gets all that gunk out of the nickel ring and everything. And it feels smoother when you're doing it, you know, it kind of just shines it and cleans it. And then I've got that uh, cheesecloth wrap stuff, you know, like if you had a wound. And I cut a little bit of that off. And then I just uh, take it to the key. Let's see if anything came off of that one. Like I said, these are all clean now, but I don't see anything. But they all shined up, if you remember how they were looking before. So here, let's uh, let's try it on a dirty one. Uh, this is just a dirty parts typewriter, um, but you'll see the difference. That's the whole point here, is to just see how a little squirt of armor all on a key makes a world of difference. Let's see where are here? Yeah, you got the J in the lens. So I'm cleaning it with the armor all. And now we wipe it down with our dry one. I'm sure it all, you know, even the space bar turns out great. On that Remington, of course, that's got a wooden space bar, so <laughs> that, that isn't going to shine up like a key. And this is only for the glass top stuff that's really going to stand out like this, but, um, you know, armor all is good on plastics and stuff too, so. So a plastic space bar would be all right for that. Of course, I get this tangled around everything when I do this, but there. I mean, look at that. It, it, it stands out. I'll take you in on it a little bit. It's like the only key that's, you know, shining right. Some of these other ones stand out a little bit, but... This is this whole thing's dirty, so it's it's jumping out at me here. Um, there's something else I wanted to show you about this. I think one of the things was oh yeah, I had to replace the draw band and let me get this out of here and all that. But uh, this is that 1921. Oh yeah, um, you know it's interesting how the ribbon goes around. All these different uh, ribbon spools differently. 1921, 23, all those years. There's some little things about this that if you didn't know. So let's take a look. See the ribbon spool? How. Um, okay. It's got this little bar behind here. You have to go over the bar but behind the little tang there. So between the two on this one, where on the newer ones, you're just going over the the, hold, the ribbon holder there. So here you have to go behind that little bar. That was one of those little things. Um, she types great. I mean, you know, now it's got the new draw band and enough winds and good feed rollers and all that stuff. I mean, it's kind of... the. 
just jam up keys here, Ken. Quick brown fox is I'm, I'm running out of line room here, so but yeah, I mean that that works out great and uh, those replacement feed rollers. I actually went to some clear tubing. Uh, I changed from that red stuff. I went to clear anyway, so. But that's a Pika font. Um, it's kind of funny though, because this is 1921, and the first 50 years of the typewriter book came out in 1923. So this thing, 50 years, 1873 first typewriter, 1923 was 50 years. I just got this book. I haven't really done anything except look in the cover, but it shows Christopher Liam Scholes. But that means that by math, minus two years to 1921, and that's 48 years. This is 48 years after they invented the typewriter, is what you're looking at right there. And that's how far they came. I mean, this is a cool book, though. I mean, from what I can tell, it'll be a good read. I'll take her to work, and that's what the guy looked like, apparently. Interesting, eh? All right, everybody. Well, I don't know much else at the moment. I gotta get a new knob for this, but she works, and you know that new draw band really. Ting. Have a good one.